Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to art class. We are in week number three of January. We are going to learn another pencil drawing of an animal. And I have to tell you that I've had parents actually emailing me uh, asking if their student actually drew the picture. They're that good. I said yes, I couldn't believe it either. So you guys are so good at art, I cannot believe how well you're doing. So I'm going to make it harder today, and today we're going to make a beautiful deer, okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move the camera down so you can see, and let's get drawing. So the first thing I like to do, and I didn't do this in the last picture, and I probably should have, but I'm going to fold my paper vertically, just lightly, and that will help me find the middle of the picture, okay? Because this picture is symmetrical again, too. And I think that's what's helping you guys is whatever you put on one side, you put on the other. All right? So we're going to make a really cool looking deer. So the first thing we're going to do is right about here, again, towards the middle, but go down a little bit, is we're going to put the deer's nose. So I'm going to put a circle just like that on the line in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add just a little tip at the bottom of the circle, just to make it look like his nose kind of ends up in a little tip there. And just like the other pictures, I'm going to add his nostrils. Okay. And color in his nose, dark. And then what you can do is take your eraser and you can just feather out some of that coloring just to lighten it up a little bit. Okay, so step number one is put the nose. And the nose is much smaller than um, the nose on the wolf and on the bear. Okay. okay, so now what I want you to do is under the nose where that little tip is that you drew, you're going to put a line coming out like this and a line coming out like that. And I'm going to hold it up. Don't worry. So it looks like that. Do you see? That's going to be the lips on the deer. And then what I'm going to do is just like the other animals, I'm going to bring those two lines up so they go up like that and up like that. All right. And now underneath the lip, we're going to put his mouth. So his mouth is just a line like that. Do you see that? Easy, right? And now what I want to do is I'm going to put a little line on my folded mark like that just to kind of help divide his face a little bit. And then on the right and the left, I'm going to put two circles. And I'll hold this up for you guys. I know it's a little hard to see when I'm drawing like this because the paper is angled. But do you see his little eyes now? And deers have nice dark eyes, so I'm just going to color those in dark. And then what I want to do is I want to give the, the shape of the eye a little bit more realism. So I'm going to go in and I put a little curve on top and a little curve on the bottom just to make it look like he has some eyelids. Okay. Now go by the side of the, the ear. Uh, the side of his eyes, and I put two marks so you know where I'm talking about. I'm talking about here and here. And I'm going to put a line coming down and a line coming down to touch the mouth like that. Okay? And then take those two lines and you are going to make sort of like a rainbow, right? On top. To connect the two lines to make the top of the deer's head. 
Okay, so I held it up so you can see it a little bit better. And I think what I want to do is on mine, I might want to move that line up just a little bit because as I was drawing it, I think I made a snout. I think it's a snout. I'm not sure what it's called on a deer, but I made it a little too small. So I just made it a little bit bigger. And now let's put the ears on the deer, okay? So you want to go next to his eyes right here on the right and the left. And you're going to draw a little ear here and a little ear there. See that? Look like leaves, right? But then here's a little trick. Touch the leaf and draw one more line. So it looks like the deer's ear is folding over a little bit. Okay? And then on top, you want to draw his antlers. And the antlers can kind of be any shape you want. But what you draw on the left, try to copy on the right. Okay? Because I do believe, I'm not an expert at animals like deer, but... I do think that their antlers grow symmetrically. That means the same on both sides, or they try to. All right? And now what you want to do is you're going to start to add your shadow. So I'm just going to go, and again, I'm going to start to add. If I do it on this side, I want to do it over there some shadow on his face to start to look like the little deer it has some fur on it, on his face. Okay, I'll give you a minute to do that. And then up around his forehead, we'll call that, I'm going to put some shadow on here. I'm just kind of following the lines that I use to draw the shape of his face. And I'm going to go around the side here. Okay. And then around his eyes. Put a little bit of shadow. And you may be putting your shadow in some different spots. That's okay. And I think I'm going to go around by his mouth. And add a little shadow here. And add a little shadow here. Down by his little mouth. Okay. And I'm going to put some shadow up in his ear. On the right and the left. Okay. And then I'll put a little fur in his ear. Okay. You guys are, are experts at the shadowing now, so you guys can just kind of copy me as you go here. Okay? And then I'm going to work on his antlers next, but the next thing I want you to do is I want you to touch where his ear is and put a line down. Touch his ear. Put a line down. That makes his nice neck. And then you're going to go in and start to add some fur. Again, if you're working at home or if you're in school with Mr. Price right now, you might have to go back and sharpen your pencil because this does wear down your tip. Mine's starting to get thin here. But just keep going. Now remember, a deer has short uh, hair or fur, so don't give them super long hair, right? You just want to shadow it in so it looks like light hitting his fur and different levels of uh, hair. Short hair, dark hair, light hair. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go back with my piece of tissue paper or my napkin, 
and I'm going to start to do a little blending. Okay, remember this trick? So this blends it beautifully. And I might want to go back now with my eraser and just erase to kind of add a highlight here and there. A highlight is a is a light spot in your picture. Okay? So I definitely want to add some highlighting up in here where his little mouth is or his nose just to help separate it from his neck and chest. So I'm just going to go in add some lightness where I think it belongs. As an artist, you have to kind of look at your artwork and determine where things go. Okay, start using your eye to help figure out where things belong. And now I'm going to go in and just do the antlers with darkness and lightness. So I finished my antlers on top. And what I might want to do is just go back and clean it up a little bit. But I think you get the point of this picture. So at any point, you can go back if you're home and pause it to help you get the layout. And I think maybe I might want to go back in and make his nose a bit bigger or adjust his eyes a little bit. But that's the job of an artist. You're always fixing your artwork. So give the deer a try. I cannot wait to see them. They're beautiful. Your artwork is just fantastic. And I will see you next week for picture number four. Okay, boys and girls? So have a great day creating, and I'll see you soon. Bye!